Chiari is a powerful Geo sub DPS with good front loaded and sustained damage. Her elemental skill is where most of her damage comes from. It summons a puppet that will hit once per 3.6 seconds over 17 seconds for 5 total hits. If you have or create a Geo construct, 2 puppets are summoned instead of 1 for 10 hits. And she will gain 20% Geo damage from her A bard. When using Chiari's skill, keep in mind that it does not snapshot. Her elemental burst deals AoE Geo damage with a 50 energy cast. The damage is high enough to warrant using, but it can be skipped for faster rotations if desired. Her normal attack talent is irrelevant until C6. With Cherry's A1, if you press her skill again after casting it, you will switch to your next party member, and Cherry will also be able to perform two coordinated attacks that deal high damage. Or, you can press the normal attack button instead, and Cherry will gain a Geo Infusion for 5 seconds. You will never do that before C6, because the coordinated attacks do more damage than her normal attacks without taking up fill time. Prioritize leveling Cherry's skill, then her burst. For Chiari's artifacts, the defense scaling is higher than her attack scaling, so use Defense Sands, Geo Goblet, and Crit Circlet. On the substats, prioritize Crit, then Defense, then Attack. A few ER substats are fine, but you don't need them. For the set, use either Far Husk or Far Golden Troop. They are roughly equivalent. If you don't have a full set, you can use two-piece two-piece combinations between two Geo, two Husk, and or two Golden Troop. Do not use Nighttime Whisper, the buff only lasts 10 seconds and Chiari cannot snapshot it. With Chiari's weapons, Uraku is by far the best option, 20-30% ahead of everything else. If you don't get Uraku, Wolffang R5, Jade Cutter, and Mist Splitter are the best alternatives, with Harbinger and Cinnabar being great F2P options. Chiari has incredible constellations. C1 gives her puppets incredible range, and lets her get two puppets and the 20% damage bonus as long as there is a second Geo unit on the team, even if there is no construct. This is a massive 40% damage increase if you did not have a construct. C2 makes her burst summon a puppet 70% stronger than the one from her skill, which hits one time and comes out three times over nine seconds for a 21% damage increase. C C3 buffs her skill level by 3 for a 15% damage increase. C4 gives her 3 more of the puppets that C2 creates, but they come out over 3 seconds instead of 9, making the damage a lot more front-loaded for a 19% damage increase. C5 buffs her burst by 3, this is only a 2% increase. C6 reduces her skill cooldown to 4 seconds, and adds a lot of defense scaling to her normal attacks. C6 is a must-have to on-field a DPS GRE, but it can increase her damage even as a sub-DPS, by allowing you to cast her skill multiple times in a rotation, and get more of her A1 coordinated attacks. Recasting her skill also resets her puppet's attacks patterns, and can allow you to get a few more hits from them. This can be up to a 26% increase for a sub-DPS GRE. These constellations are incredible, and overall, from C0 to C6, can increase Chiari's damage by over 200%. C4 is a great stopping point to aim for over time, but C1 and C2 are also great places to stop. She's also already great at C0 if you don't want any constellations. For Chiari's teams, she shines best when there is another Geo unit on the team. This makes her great with every Geo DPS. For Navia, you can use Navia, Chiari, Bennett, and Farina or Zhongling. Chiari is a damage upgrade over every other Geo option for Navia here. There's practical advantages such as not breaking Al like Albedo's Flower, and then being more reliable for Crystallized than Zhongli. Chiari's constellations add excellent vertical scaling to Navia's teams, much better than Navia's own. Chiari is a damage upgrade for Ito as well, with a team of Ito, Chiari, Goro, Zhongli. Just like with Navia, Chiari has the practical advantage of her puppets not being destroyed by enemies. This is especially important with Ito, because he really needs the particles. Chiari also has a cool quick swap team with Ningguang, the team of Chiari, Ningguang, Bennett, Farina. The team has pretty good single target DPS, but you really want Ningguang to be C6 for this. 
For Norel, Cherry is slightly less damaged than Albedo, but against Barsis, she will likely be better since her puppet won't be destroyed. If you get Cherry to C1, then she will be a massive damage upgrade over Albedo. Besides from Geo DPS, there are some other teams that Cherry can fit into. Lenny, Bennett, Zhongli, Cherry is the new strongest way to play Lenny with a shield. The Cherry Zhongli duo will work well in any team that can fit them in without sacrificing too much, but it won't fit into most teams. Lastly, for a C6 main DPS Chiori team, play Chiori, Goro, Yunjin, Zhongli. Goro and Yunjin are great buffers for a C6 Chiori, as she has a lot of defense scaling and does a lot of normal attacks. You need a shield for Geo Resonance, and Zhongli is the best option, but someone like Toma or Layla will also work fine. If playing this team, make sure you do N3D as Chiori's combo instead of N4, as N3D will result in way more total hits and defense scaling. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe as that will help me a lot.